Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that turbine exhaust exercise in Inventor. Quite easy to do. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, let's start with some planes. And I need, let's take a look one parallel to this one 300 let's make it visible okay then another from this one 320 another one 680 and another one 700 Let's show all the elements and I need one with an angle so I want to select this one and that is reference and the angle might be 10 degrees let's take a look if this is no the other way around so minus 10 degree should No, it's 10 degrees. Always hard to tell. Okay. Now let's do our first sketch on that plane. That's plane 2. This one. I want to have a 2D sketch, of course. I need to project this into my sketch as construction project geometry this one okay i need a circle diameter 100 another one yeah but this should not be for construction another circle diameter 24 and again, it should not be for construction like this. Okay. Then I need lines. These should be for construction. So one from here to this one and even slightly beyond, but let's go to that point. Okay. And another one from this point up there. Should be for construction. It is. Now deactivate this one. Now make sure this point or that line aligns to that plane. So go for that point maybe and put it onto that plane. Now same here should be vertical aligned this point with that point right here so it's the other way around yeah that's the line which is wider now the distance should be 375 that distance should be yeah go for aligned 205 now let's see that's up I have to extend that line I know yeah that's really sort of annoying so let's do it like this okay now trim and i need one line more maybe like that and not for construction okay now make 
make it tangent that's really strange behavior trim trim here there this one that side and this and that side finish that sketch and as usual I want to make an extrude so go for extrude with that sketch and that should go up to not a distance but it should go to a face this face and okay maybe hide that plane next sketch on this plane and that would be a circle diameter 735 I need two lines okay those two lines should be for construction only and again oh, that's on the wrong side so that line should be over here project as construction element this plane deactivate this and put them collinear now I should be able to trim this let's go for trim and finish that sketch make another extrude again to a face like this and confirm as I can't use 3d sketches for extrudes I have to go for 2d sketches so let's start with a 2d sketch on the y no on the front plane that would be the xy plane let's project your geometry this edge and that edge into my sketch and both of them should be of course for construction only like this now go for a spline interpolation spline from this point here to that point up there confirm now let's activate the handles here and go for collinear this handle should be collinear with that projected edge same on the other side activate that handle and align with collinear that handle and that projected edge so it seems I forgot here dimension that would be sketch number two let's check it out yes I forgot indeed this one has to have a radius and that should be 735 divided by 2 finish that sketch and that's more like it now another sketch on the work plane 5 that's the one with an angle 
Again, project geometry, make it for construction only. This edge and that edge. Now go for a spline from this point to that point. Confirm this should be not for construction. Activate the handle here and align with collinear that handle and that line. Same here, activate handle and align with collinear that handle and this projected edge. Finish that sketch. I want to do an extrude here and extrude there. So go for extrude here, but the other way around, make it 20. Okay. Another extrude here, yes, 20 millimeter, yes, and confirm. Okay, so let's do our loft section should be this one, not the loop, not the face, but that edge up here. Second one should be there. And I want to have conditions, tangent and tangent. Now go to the rails. One rail would be this one. And let's see if we can select this edge. Yeah. Now go to conditions and go for tangent condition for the rails as well and confirm. Let's hide that one and this one. No, oh, that's the wrong one. No, that's not the wrong one, that's the right one. Now stitch those together, this one, that one, and this one. Apply, done. I want to have it mirrored. So go for mirror and not the features. Yeah, but some only available features. So this feature, mirror plane would be the X Y plane and OK. Now stitch those together. Stitch this one and that one. Apply and done. And then we can go for a circular pattern. I want to pattern this feature. Rotation axis would be this one. And I want to have 18 instances and 360 degrees. And OK. Now let's stitch those together. And all of these should be stitched together. Apply and done. I could change the translucent to that solid look. Now I want to hide it anyway. And I need a sketch on the XY plane. And I need to project 
as construction that plane and activate this and this profile might look something like this go here now an arc another arc and then a line add some dimensions that distance here should be 160 that length should be 253 there should be an angle 22 degrees this might be 135 that one might be 190 this point and that point should be dimensioned with 33 and i need a complete length this might be 805 and then i want this point to be in that projected plane finish that sketch now let's make a revolve with that sketch and the axis would be this axis 360 degrees and okay now change this one non-translucent and show that one as well and i'm done so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you the next one bye bye